What's up guys, we got the Honda here. We're doing major work. We're replacing the upper control arm, the struts, the springs, the lower control arm, the sway bar links, the tie rods, um, the lower ball joint, everything except the knuckle. This one right here. Check it out though. Watch out Dre, ain't nothing in there. Oh yeah, and the drive axle. We're replacing the drive axle too. It broke off. Check that out. Show you the progress. The control arms already down. But check what I had to do to the lower control arm. Cut it straight across. Then I cut straight through the bushing. Right now I'm working on cutting this side. And then this part of the bolt will fall out. And then I'm just going to grab some pliers and spin that. And it'll come out. On this side, same thing. Cut the control arm. Swung it out. And then as far as the wishbone, I had to cut it also straight down the middle. So I could get the axle out. Um, the other side is pretty much ready to go. I just need the knuckle. We had um, this would have been already installed, but uh, we had some issues with the lower ball joint. We had some issues uh, removing the bolt holding the wishbone on, so I just went back to the junkyard and got two two of the wishbones, both bolts, and then um, the, the pair of bolts for the other side for the control arm. Uh, when you do install this strut, there's actually five bolts. There's the usual three, and then there's two extra 10 millimeters uh, held onto a bracket. Other than that, this is the progress. I'll show you the, the knuckle right now and explain why we couldn't get it off. The new uh, CV axle is in. That was an old one. Let's see, broke straight off. Somebody had uh, already did the ball joint, but they didn't put the nut all the way on. Alright, so here's my knuckle. There's a new ball joint. So usually when you get your, your press tool, you can press it around the ball joint. Well here, the ball joint literally is flush up against uh, this part. So you need to get a special um, like socket adapter kind of that has this part cut out. So imagine a socket with a notch taken out of the side. So it literally only holds from here. It doesn't hold from back here. Without that, we can't pop it out. We can pop it in, but we can't pop it out. Um, I don't have that tool. I rented it from AutoZone, and I do not want to keep it. It's 200 bucks. So I'm just going to take it in and press them in and out, and then we'll put them on. 